Welcome to Pop Pilot's Workshop. Today the, is the final step in being able to get my new CNC for Newbie machine up and running. And that involves being able to go through and calibrate it and make sure that all the settings are correct and that my X, Y, and Z are all calibrated to the point when I move it, it moves the amount that I actually want it to. So today we're going to do that whole setup process and make sure that everything is ready using the universal G-code sender and my new CNC for newbie new card. So let's get started. One of the things that I need to be able to do, this is the instruction sheet that came from the CNC for newbies. And I have the thousand machine, so I need to be able to have these settings set up for the gerbil. So let's go ahead and verify this. So zero should be set at 10. So we're going to scroll back up to the top. Zero is set for 10. My next one is my dollar sign one should be at 255 and it is now I'm going to go down to 10 and it's set at 115 and that is correct 11 is at 0 0.02 and that is correct now I continued this process and verified all of the settings were correct in the gerbil now the one change that I did see is on the line 20 where the dollar sign 20 was set for zero which is a soft limit the gerbil settings that was recommended was one and i decided just to go ahead and leave that at the zero everything else was set exactly correct now one of the things that i have done now that the machine is assembled is that i've opened up the universal g-code sender and I want to be able to verify and calibrate the machine. So what I have done is I put in a 60 degree V bit, which gives me a nice sharp point. And I have a ruler, it's actually a yardstick, but it's also measured in millimeters. And what I've done, I'm going to zoom in real close, is I have set the machine directly over the 100 millimeter point. And then I'm going to move and calibrate it. Now I'm going to put a link to the video up top where I have used this method before to calibrate the machine. And we're going to just check out and see if this machine is actually calibrated with the factory settings. Now I have the, U the Universal G-Code Center set up uh, with the millimeters selected. And I have 10 millimeters. I'm going to start out small to begin with. And then we'll make the adjustments and go with the larger. Because the larger movements that I can have, the more accurate that it will get. That actually looks like it's dead on. So now what I'm going to do is just put in 100 millimeters over here. And then we're going to move it to the right. And let's see where it moved. That looks dead on center. So we're going to move it back. Now what I'm going to do is put in 300 millimeters. And we'll move it to the right again. And I can look at that and that looks to be dead on perfect.
We'll move back to the left. And I see no variation at all. It looks to be absolutely perfectly calibrated. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the y-axis and see if my calibration is equally as good. Now I'm sitting on the y-axis and I've reset my yardstick and I have this set directly over the my zero point that I'm calling 100 millimeters. So now we're going to move it along the y-axis to 300 millimeters. <laughs> Now that is just slightly off. So let's move it back. Now that comes back to the exact original point, but it's not going quite far enough. So let's go ahead and make our calculations and make our adjustments. Now the formula that we use is that we want the ideal travel versus the actual travel. And we're going to times that by whatever is in our dollar 101 setting and we'll look at that in just a moment so my ideal travel was 300 millimeters and my actual travel was 299 and I'm going to times that and let's take a look and see what is in the uh, verbal setting now looking back at the universal g-code sender I'm back at the main screen and I'm looking at the machine control and down on this left side you can actually see every command that I have entered. I want to go back now and look at the actual settings in the Gerbil. So I can actually go up here and click on settings and I want the firmware settings for Gerbil and how it shows me exactly where everything is. So I want to scroll down and look at these three settings. So this is 133.333. This is going to be my Y axis. My X axis was at the same thing, 133.333. And then this is going to be my Z axis. So I need to go ahead and make this adjustment. So I need to be able to record what the actual y-axis is that's the 133.333 okay now that we have all the information let's go ahead and plug in these values so I know my ideal travel was 300 and I actually went 299 and I'm going to multiply that by what's in the computer at 133.333 now the good thing about this, I can do this in the calculator all in one motion. So when I take the 300 and divide it by the 299, that equals 1.003 and a bunch more numbers. And I'll just leave that in the computer. And we're going to multiply that by my 133.333. And that equals one. 133.779. That is my new number that I have to key into the gerbil system. So I completed the calculation now and I went ahead and opened up line 101 which is the y-axis and I highlighted this and now I want to back this up and my new number is 133 point seven seven nine and now I'm going to save that 
So now let's go and make this same movement again and let's see how the calibration is. So let's close this window. Okay, I've moved this now back to my 100 millimeters. So that's exactly on the position. So now let's go ahead and move it to 300 millimeters again along the Y axis. <laughs> And let's take a look at that and you can see now that is directly on my 400 so that moved my 300 millimeters exactly so that's now calibrated to be able to get the z-axis calibrated I've got to be a little bit creative because I do not have a dial indicator so I set the tape measure up and have it fixed and then I put just a blade right at the 50 centimeter uh, mark and then I'm going to move up 10 millimeters and see how that is calibrated so over in the universal g-code sender I have this set for 10 millimeters and now I'm going to hit this and go up the 10 now we'll look this and that's exactly where it sent it so I am not going to need to change that. Now I'm right back at my 5. And I'm going to go up 30. And you can see that that is right on the spot. So I am not going to change the Z axis at all. So at this point, I have my X, Y, and my Z axis all calibrated, and I have verified that all of the settings in the computer are correct. So now I'm actually ready to be able to carve something. Now one of the things that I want to be able to do is put a few lines on the table. And I'm not really ready to carve these lines into the, into the bed of the wasteboard. So what I did is I went over and I used the machine and I marked exactly where I, the bit was located. And then I moved up my 300 millimeters and I put another mark exactly where the bit is located. Now I'm doing two things. One, I'm going to use this to put lines, a few lines, onto the table. But I'm also wanting to check for the level of this and I can see that the bit is right back touching the table and that's good. Now I moved that over 500 millimeters then I lowered the bit down and it is within about a half a millimeter about a, less than a half a millimeter from touching the uh, waste board. So to me for woodworking that's actually accurate enough. I'm not going to skim the waste board at this point. But I do want to put a few more lines on this. Now to be able to lay out these lines I actually use the machine itself so I know that these lines are exactly in line with the X, Y, and Z measurements so this is my line for my x-axis and of course this is my y-axis uh, now I have also measured for the height over the various places throughout the whole entire waste board and I'm within about a half a millimeter from being totally flat to me for doing the woodworking that's acceptable but over time I'm sure that I'll go ahead and skim this waste board and get it even better. So I must say that CNC for newbies did an excellent job of making sure that everything was calibrated and all the software was up to date. Awesome job. The next thing that I want to do is go ahead and organize this section over here. I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and in this place right in here is go ahead and drill a hole and run all these wires underneath the table and I think I'm going to take this controller 
and mount it under the table as well. And that will clear up this space that I can utilize as a work area. And now I'm ready to carve my first project. Hi everyone, thank you for watching my video today. If you like the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and the little bell next to it so you'll be notified on the different videos that I upload. Also check out the videos over here to be able to stay up to date on the happenings in my shop. So again, thank you for watching my videos.